Hello, this is a video for the 1990 uh, Rage. Um, there's actually possibly going to be three Cobra Rages, and by that I mean this one, which is from 1990, the 1997 Toys R Us exclusive that I don't have myself, um, and then the Pursuit of Cobra may be getting a repainted, kind of remolded version of this vehicle. I wanted to say that uh, even in my own experience, um, the Toys R Us around where I live don't always have very well uh, stock shelves, and you know maybe the customer service isn't always as good as it could be. Um, but again, that most of the time has to do with store policy, um, so you can't really fault the employees for following uh, store policy. But I wanted to say that whether or not you um, have any negative thoughts towards Toys R Us, as a G.I. Joe collector, um, I didn't even know uh, that Toys R Us what, had their own line in 1997 and 1998. I think it was just for two years. Um, and Except for then I found eBay and then you know you, when you grow up with a, something for a while you just maybe start taking it for granted or something and I just always remember uh, Toys R Us at the time being a, as a kid always having so much stuff on the shelf and so you just I would always go there and there was always something on the shelf and it you know back then you know there probably wasn't as many toy um, lines and so G.I. Joe would have pretty much a whole aisle that was just G.I. Joe figures and so when I went into Toys R Us expecting there still to be that whole uh, line and shelf of an aisle of G.I. Joe figures what a surprise what a wake-up call um, it was only uh, repaints uh, and remolds of, I think they were all pretty much old uh, figures. There weren't really any ch parts changed or anything. Um, so anyway, Toys R Us, so great. Uh, Target, you know, does a, some support. Um, Walmart usually is not too favorable um, towards uh, GI Joe. Uh, I know they just started some exclusives. Uh, recently, so that's good that they're finally wising up and, you know, realizing, hey, there's money to be made. Um, so anyway, hopefully rambling on too much wasn't uh, too painful. Just wanted to kind of let you know that this is the 1991, and it did not come with a uh, figure. And I actually already did a video for this, but my phone which hopefully will work with me to, for this video, it overheated or something and it erased the whole video. So uh, that's why you'll probably see quite a bit in this video. And then I'm going to post the second half to the other video. Um, so if anything overlaps, that's what has happened. But I didn't want to lose anything that I said in the other video. Um, so anyway. I do have two of these right here, uh, and that's kind of cool because that way I can show you. Uh, I don't know if I got this one loose first, and then this one, or vice versa. But the reason I mention that is because I, um, or whoever saw the blueprints, put these stickers right on top here. And I actually think they're supposed to go right there because they're supposed to recreate the headlights I'm assuming um, then we'll show you the good thing about having two of them is uh, I'm missing parts um, whether they're hidden or not I don't know but uh, we'll go ahead and show you what I mean this one here when you pull this out one falls, two falls, three falls, 
Let's see if another one falls. Yep, four. I think that's it, yeah. So four of these mines fall out, and one falls out each time you pull this lower part out. And then this is the one that I only have one of. Sorry, the shadow kind of hit that, but we'll recreate it later. Um, so I only have one for this vehicle right now. So we'll go ahead and get that one out of the way. So you have the four mines here. And when you lift this gun station up, there are little slots right there. And these just slide right in there. One in each slot. There's four slots. Uh, I think this vehicle was pretty well uh, thought out because they, uh, you know, use all the space very well. As you can see, it's got the gun station, but it also has this machine gun that goes that far and then all the way practically around to the front. But even if you don't have the gun station up, you could still have it be defensive in the back. And then we'll try and show the mines again without covering up the light. Start over here. Come on, can we get this on camera? There, hopefully it's showing them falling out. But usually if you're doing it right and you're not filming, um, they'll come out individually. Uh, let's see. It does have four missiles on it. Try and get these all put back in. Anyway, so we were saying it has four missiles. There's two up on the top. Both come off. And then it also has two on this side panel right here. They also come off. Mm -hmm. And they do go back on. Live filming. Don't we love it? Um, then it has kind of a gun right here. I'm assuming that's what this is. Kind of like a Gatling gun. Um, it's got a battering ram. I'm not sure what else they would call this, but I'm going to call it a battering ram. I think this is the broken one, though, so it keeps falling off. And it's got this Gatling gun here that you can kind of move with this uh, backwards, but you can move it better with uh, it down, and that's because they put uh, this thing right here. So you can move that. Uh, I think the one that they're going to release re-release is going to have different wheels. It's going to be two wheels to recreate this. Um, so anyway, uh, I will see you in part two, uh, or the part two of the two that I did. All right, see you over there. Bye.